and welcome to our Mastering Maze and Blue podcast. Today we are doing our Talent Gateway podcast. Uh, my name is Bridget Bradicus and I'm joined by Dmitry uh, Starnikov. <laughs> with Dmitry Kostarnikov. Um, yeah. Um, we also have our guests, uh, Lori Such and Joshua Palmer. Palmer. Um, um, Let's just talk about ourselves first, I guess, in the, a little bit. Um, I'm personally in computer science. Um, I'm involved in a couple of groups on campus, like Build On. I'm an orientation leader, just as um, Bridget. And also, I'm in swing dance. And Bridget? Hi, I'm Bridget Bradicus. I'm a bioengineering and mechanical engineering dual major. I'm involved in the first gen leadership team, uh, Glee Club, and swing dance on campus, as well as uh, documentary. And uh, my favorite book is To Kill a Mockingbird, which I think has a lot of relevance to today's society. And today we're joined by our guest, um, as I said, Laurie Sash and Joshua Palmer. Um, could you please introduce yourselves? Laurie. Sure. Hi, uh, I'm Laurie. Thanks for having me today. I'm uh, the executive director of the Talent Gateway and Career Services, and uh, we're excited to be here today. Yes, we're super excited. Uh, thanks. My name is Josh Palmer, and I'm the program coordinator for the Talent Gateway uh, with, within the Office of Career Services. Um, so today we're talking about Talent Gateway, and um, I think that um, there's a lot of um, people who work at Talent Gateway, and like, there's a lot of experience that comes into it, like goes into it. Um, Lauren, Josh, how long have you been at U of M Dearborn and at the Town Gateway as a specifically? Lori? Yep. Uh, so uh, I've actually been at U of M Dearborn. It'll be four years uh, on, at Labor Day. And uh, I helped start the Talent Gateway when it first launched in 2016. And I've been part of uh, U of M Dearborn and the Talent Gateway for almost two and a half years now. Um, so, um, what is, um, let's start from the beginning. What is Talent Gateway and who is it created for? And yeah, um, Josh, you want to talk about that first? Uh, actually, I'll take this one. Okay. Um, so the idea behind the gateway is how do we help students be even more prepared for the workforce? And one of the big um, things you hear nowadays is students need soft skills. So communication skills, leadership, teamwork, and all that kind of stuff. And students are getting that through their involvements with student organizations and volunteering work they do, classroom work that they do. But learning to articulate it and talk about it in a way that really resonates with employers so you can kind of transfer and translate the skills that you've built into what an employer is looking for is really one of the founding um, principles behind the Talent Gateway. So it's all online, it's created for everybody, it's free, and um, as you'll learn uh, more as we go along, um, it's really uh, something that everyone can participate in. We have students who are freshmen, and if you're a freshman, incoming freshman, as soon as you have your ID, you can start doing challenges. So we have students already doing challenges who, who aren't uh, actually uh, taking classes yet, and we have all the way through our master's students doing challenges. So it's, it's a lot of fun for everybody. All right, and Josh, how would you say that Talent Gateway helps students? Yeah, so the uh, Talent Gateway helps students, like Lori mentioned, first of all, by that development of soft skills. So we help students articulate how are they becoming better problem solvers, better leaders, um, better team, team players for the workforce. So that's, that's the main foundation of, of who we are and what we're about. But we also really help students stay engaged, whether that be uh, in person or virtual. Uh, we connect students to all the different opportunities and resources that exist throughout campus and throughout the community. So we help them find ways to get involved in uh, things with the student, student life office and student organizations. We encourage them to go out in the community and volunteer or to get involved with employers and do co-ops and internships. And all of those different things that let them have a lot of living and learning experiences and get to meet and engage with other students along the way as well. 
Um, thank you. Um, Lori, what would you say that, um, what is the M talent distinction and how so, can we acquire it? Sure. So the, the end goal, right, is to help students get jobs out in the workforce. And the M talent distinction is something that you can actually earn that goes on your transcript. Um, in this picture, you can see a young man with a stole on. So he gets that stole to wear at graduation. And um, the distinction on the transcript is really the important thing because uh, it's something you can put in your resume. It's something you can talk about. And this distinction demonstrates to employers that you're, you're ready and you can hit the ground running with the skill set they need uh, on day one. So um, it's, it's quite an honor to get. We've had almost 100 students um, top out with that, but we have um, over, uh, over 1,500 students are participating in the Gateway. So you've got to work to achieve it, but you can work your entire time at Dearborn. It's nothing you have to do right away. You, you, you can do it and earn it throughout your whole career here. And how would students work towards achieving that then? So what are challenges and how do students complete them? Yeah, so students complete challenges to earn points towards the M Talent distinction. There are hundreds of challenges to choose from. Uh, there's something, there's a challenge basically for anything that a student might do. So anything from going to class, uh, attending office hours, engaging on campus, um, doing a co-op or an internship, visiting the career services office, any of those things, what they'll do is they'll complete this challenge by answering a set of questions that develops them into a personal reflection on their experiences. So they're taking their experiences that they're having and answering those questions to see how does their, that experience relate to their personal, academic, and professional life now and into the future, and what skills are they developing along the way. Uh, students complete them um, right by actually logging in. Uh, once they join, they are added to our Canvas portal, which will then take them into a long list of challenges that they can look through and, and pick through. You can choose whichever ones best fit them. They'll be able to submit that challenge right there through Canvas, and then our talent ambassadors will provide them with their points and some feedback. And who are these talent ambassadors? Great question. We have uh, 10 student employees, 10 talent ambassadors that are uh, upperclassmen, leaders on campus. They're highly engaged and, and involved. Uh, they're really knowledgeable of all the different resources that are on campus. And they are students that actually read all of those challenge submissions. They provide points and that feedback so they might connect students to other opportunities or uh, other things that they can think about after reading their reflection. So they're there to support all uh, U of M Dearborn students on their way to earning the M Talent Distinction. Um, and what are some examples of challenges that you were talking about? Um, so like you like talk about the office hours and stuff like that, or is there like more broad about like, is that only academic related or is it, does it have the like workforce, I guess, an internship like involved into it? That's a, that's a great question, Dimitri. And um, what's neat about the challenges is some of them, um, well, all of them have to do with thinking about what you're already doing. So the idea is you don't have to do a bunch of extra stuff to be part of the gateway and to really get the most out of your Dearborn experience. It's really thinking about what is it that you're doing already. So for example, there's join a student org and we actually have it so you can lock and or you can unlock different challenges. So if you do the challenge about joining a student org, which is really simple, what org do you want to do? What org did you join? What are you hoping to gain out of it? And what skills do you bring to the org? That can actually unlock other challenges that say, okay, I'm going to facilitate a, um, a student org meeting or I am um, a student org leader, right? And so it's really neat because it unlocks and um, you can move around. We also have different badges that you can earn. So if you really want to work on your leadership skills, for example, you can do challenges in that category and then um, get an actual badge and we have challenges related to real interview questions. So it talks about how do you, that's the capstone for that badge. So how are you going to talk about your student org experience, for example, um, in an actual interview? And so you're leaving um, that challenge with some real answers that you're going to be able to use for employers in the future. 
We also have a lot of networking events and we're planning to do some this fall, even though it's gonna be a virtual environment. Um, so we'll have opportunities for um, students to engage with employers and um, make some connections. Um, we have challenges that, we have some fun ones like um, find, who's, your, uh, who's your inner superhero? So thinking about yourself and um, what do you bring to the table and what's your kryptonite, right? What, what's hard for you? Um, we have others that are um, more fun, like um, I thought of it in the shower and other crazy places for great ideas. And then we have some that are academic focused. So if you're changing a major, because that's something that a lot of folks do. So when you think about changing a major, um, what led you to that decision and what are you hoping to get out of it? And we also have forward thinking ones, like one called um, Three Paths. So visualize yourself five years after graduation in three different careers and what appeals to you about each one and, and which one do you think you're gonna take? And um, we have some about making mistakes and learning from your mistakes and owning your mistakes. So there's really a huge variety of challenges. We have over 350 to choose from. So um, I really encourage everyone to just give it a shot because you're learning lots of skills. Um, you're learning to talk about the skills you already, you already have, but then you're also learning some new skills as you go along. Um. So all of these challenges sound super interesting and I know a lot of students are gonna find this super interesting as well. So Josh, how do you join Talent Gateway? How do you start participating in these challenges? Sure thing. Uh, joining Talent Gateway is very simple. Uh, you really just have to go to our website. So just umdearborn.edu slash talent gateway. And right there on the site, we have a big join now button. So you'll just click through to that. Once you click that join now button, it'll take you to our Canvas page. Once you enroll in that Canvas page at no, for no cost, um, it'll be added right there to that portal where all of your other courses will be. Uh, so it'll be a nice reminder to go in and complete your challenges. Uh, and then you'll be all set, ready to go, go and start earning points. And how many points do we have to earn to get the M distinction that we were talking earlier? Yeah, so that's a great question. Um, there, you can join any time. So during your whole career at U of M Dearborn, you can um, you can decide. You know what? I'm too busy. My first 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 semester freshman year, I don't want to join it right now. And you can join as a sophomore or even a junior. Um, so you can take your time and, and learn through it. Um, it does, you have to get uh, 50,000 points to do, earn the M Talent distinction. And when you get to the 50,000 points, what that unlocks is a showcase. So on our website, you'll see some of the examples of student presentations that have been done in the past. And they're talking about their Dearborn experiences and what they've learned along the way. And that's, again, an opportunity to share your skill set with employers. So you have to get the 50,000 points. And then along the way, there are other awards that we give at 10,000, 20,000, 35,000 points. And as you mentioned, again, there's no deadline to join. So I can join like right now, go and it's not going to be a problem. Yeah, that's right. Um, we encourage students to um, join for more than one semester. So don't try to cram it in your last semester before graduation, but you can join at any time and you can take your time and do challenges. If you do one challenge a week, you're going to have um, a lot of points before you know it. And, uh, and you'll find that they're actually fun to do. Yeah, I think I remember I had a, I have a friend, Sierra. She's, I think she works with for you as well. And she did like like in a year or something. She did like a lot of those. Um, she almost finished it, I believe. So yeah, I guess that's like a very nice, um, very nice bonus to reflecting on your um, college experience. Absolutely. And you mentioned, Josh, you mentioned the website already and on the website, it mentions duck mentoring. Um, do you wanna elaborate a little bit on that? I know we have another podcast coming up, but if you wanna mention it here. Yeah, uh, the duck mentoring program, duck stands for a diverse understanding creating community. And it's an opportunity for new students to get engaged right away. Uh, we're gonna be having some uh, virtual events starting in August, but we have a great group of mentors of upperclassmen that are all interested in supporting your transition to U of M Dearborn. Uh, they wanna make sure that you feel uh, engaged, that you know about all the different resources. 
So a collaboration between the Talent Gateway and the Office of Student Life is the Duck Mentoring Program. You can join uh, at, by, by the link on our website or going to umdearborn.edu uh, slash uh, duck mentoring and you'll have the opportunity to get paired up with uh, one of the upperclassmen students that'll really support you uh, throughout your first semesters. That's awesome. Um, um, let's make it a little bit more, I guess, fun, the podcast. Um, let's make it, um, what, what is a fun fact about you? Or maybe a fun, yeah, something that happened maybe sure. um, in Talent Gateway that you want to share? Sure. Well, a fun fact um, is actually I'm a librarian by training. Um, so how I ended up where I ended up is, is a crazy career path in and of itself. Um, I'm also an army vet and um, I was an exchange student to both Norway and Uruguay when I was a high school student. Um, the fun fact I would guess about the Talent Gateway is really just, it's a lot of fun to work for. Um, it's really great to work with the students directly and um, we create new challenges all the time based on um, ideas from students, faculty, and staff, as well as employers. So uh, I would encourage everybody to join. All right, that's gonna be kind of tough to follow. Um, I'll start off with my fun fact. My fun fact is, because today's opening day, the, the day we're recording this, um, is the official MLB opening day. So my fun fact is I've been to uh, 21 Major League Baseball stadiums. And I'm trying to go to all of them before I'm age 30. So um, I have some work to do still. I have a few more to get to on the, the west side of the country. Um, hopefully I'll get out there soon. But happy opening day to the baseball fans out there uh, for the league starting uh, late this year. Um, I guess another fun fact about me is I just visited uh, Ecuador a year ago to learn about higher education over there. So that was a wonderful trip. And uh, I just wanna agree with what Lori said. Uh, Gateway is a lot of fun. We love our jobs and we think we have some of the, the best jobs on campus. We love working with our students and we're really excited for you to engage in, in challenges and with the mentoring program, uh, as well as all the other resources that the Career Services Office offers for you. So we look forward to working with you and we welcome you to campus. All right, and our last slide here uh, is just contact information for um, Talent Gateway. Uh, I know you guys are located over at Fair Lane Center North. Um, is it me? Yep, sorry, I lost my uh, slide. I just wanna mention that uh, we are probably not going to be in the office this fall. Um, so the best way to reach us is follow us on Instagram or Twitter or uh, contact us at the email address listed. But, um, but uh, like many offices, um, we're going to be full steam ahead, uh, but just virtually. So please reach out and connect with us and we will be having um, fall events like an open house and networking nights and so forth. Um, I think that, yeah, I remember a lot of events on campus when it opens in, in the winter. Definitely, there's a lot of events that are happening um, with Stanley Gateway um, in different buildings too, which is really nice to see, to talk to them all the time. Um, yeah, and then um, I guess our part <laughs> from Ocean. Um, we have um, more podcasts. We already did a lot of those, um, starting from just being a Dearborn student and talking to um, student um, student organizations and uh, people like that, to having Talent Gateway in our, um, on our podcast, um, having the, um, having a podcast about jobs on campus on August 12th. Um, so yeah, definitely check it out. Uh, check it out. It's great. Um, what else? Is there anything to add? Uh, I want to thank our guests for joining us today um, and for talking about Talent Gateway. Uh, it's a very important uh, resource on campus and it's unique to our Dearborn campus. So it's especially important that students uh, take part in it. Uh, I personally just joined it because I realized that I should. <laughs> um, 
but thank you for joining us um, and thank you for our students for joining us uh, and if you're ready to keep mastering maize and blue check out the website um, from previous and for future episodes but thank you thanks for having us yeah thanks for having us go blue